Hi guys, I'm trying to film this video with whatever sunlight is left because today has been a busy day. We took our engagement pictures. That, what? Engagement pictures? Pregnancy brain is real. We took our pregnancy announcement pictures today. So I thought I have my makeup done, my hair done, my nails done. Might as well film a video because I'm usually very tired and this doesn't happen every single day. Today I am actually 13 weeks in one day pregnant and I've been meaning to film this video since the very beginning of the pregnancy. Um, so it's about time if you're trying to conceive right now and or you just think that you might be pregnant. I hope this video is helpful. Let's talk about ovulation and all the things that we did to conceive if you watch my video of finding out i was pregnant i was so shocked and i was very grateful that i was pregnant and that it only took one cycle i was diagnosed with pcos and for me i always thought that it would be really hard or that it would take a long time because you hear you know all these stories and i was like all right we should start now because we don't know if it's going to take us six months or a year and I said it in my reaction video that I really don't want to be insensitive to people that are struggling um, with infertility or that have PCOS and it's taking a while because I know how lucky we are that it only took one try. Like I was ready for, you know, to face months or years or whatever of trying. So it, it makes me want to cry <laughs> so if you guys have watched any of my other videos or like wedding planning videos and all of that you guys would know that i am very type a <laughs> like i like to organize everything i like to watch a lot of videos about you know like tips and tricks and all of that so the first thing that we did to prepare ourselves prepare our body um our bodies was to take vitamins so i started taking prenatals three uh was it three two months they say that you're supposed to take them three months before you try to conceive i think i started taking them two months before i'm taking ritual and i'm still taking it and i love it you know i i've had no like side effects or discomfort or anything they smell like lemon this is not sponsored by the way but i wish if you're watching ritual can you sponsor me um but yeah i love these and then i was doing research and i was like what can i get for my husband because his health is just important as mine like his sperm had to be healthy so i found these on amazon one a day preconception health for men and if you i'm gonna link them i'm gonna link them down below but if you read the reviews it's like a bunch of like positive pregnancy tests i am very skeptical sometimes so i'm like all right it might be a coincidence or you know but a lot of people were like, oh my god, like we've been trying for years and this is the one thing that we did differently and we got pregnant. So we got pregnant on the first time. So maybe there is like something that really helps um, with sperm health or something, but it worked for us. I mean, I'm not saying it was just that, but who knows. My best friend, Eliana, who just had a baby. Well, she didn't just have a baby. He's almost two, but he's like a baby in my eyes um but she actually gave me a whole box of ovulation tests that she used when she was trying to conceive her baby and she didn't need them anymore so she gave them to me and that was like months ago like way before we were even trying but i was like cool i'll just keep them here and whenever i need them i'll use them they're also from ec at home so i was using the ec at home ovulation test and the ec at home pregnancy test the blue ones are the ovulation test and the pink ones are the pregnancy test the really cool thing about these tests is that you can download an app called Premom. This is the coolest thing ever. Like, I think technology is great sometimes because you can take a picture. I'm going to show you. You can take a picture of your ovulation test and then the app will tell you if your, if your levels, your LH levels, which is the hormone that you need, um, that indicates if you're ovulating or not. It will tell you like the app will tell you if the levels are high or if they're low because i hadn't tracked my ovulation before i wasn't sure when i ovulated most women ovulate around day 14 of their cycle i learned that i ovulate really late like day 21 of my cycle so it was so helpful to have this app i'm probably going to insert a, 
a picture of this but i started testing and everything said low low and then when i was getting closer and my levels were going up you can see here it starts to say high and then this purple um message here says peak which means that the hormone is like at its highest and then it's gonna drop this is what the chart looks like and you can see when it peaks it's also very important to continue testing after it peaks so you can see the levels going down and then the key is not to just not to wait until the peak to start trying like to baby dance i don't i don't even know if i like that expression like to baby dance but you know what i mean um i don't think you should wait until the peak you should probably start once you see your levels rising a little bit definitely on the peak because that means that you're about to ovulate so then like and like three days after that there's a lot of opinions about that some people say that you should do it every other day but we didn't want to miss the opportunity we were very determined so then it was like that like two days before peak then during ovulation and then like two days after ovulation just to make sure that we covered like all the fertile window and it worked i didn't want to start testing super early but i still did like i still tested eight days past ovulation that is extremely early but i've watched so many youtube videos of women that got a positive test eight days post, ov post ovulation very very faint so i was like you know what like i can't wait like i waited i waited as long as i could which was eight days <laughs> I took pregnancy tests every single day until I got a dye stealer, meaning that the test line was darker than the control line. And don't worry, these are I always tried them and I like glue them to this. They don't have pee on it anymore, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, so this is the first test I took at nine DPO, which means nine days post ovulation. And actually, this was the first test that showed me that I was pregnant i think it's like you can barely see it's very very faint um obviously i'm already three months pregnant so these tests were from three months ago but you can kind of see a line right here it's very very faint but when i took it i definitely knew i was pregnant um it says midnight because i took it exactly at midnight i could not wait until the morning so i took it before i went to bed when i took this one and i saw this faint line i already knew i was pregnant and i took a digital and it came back and it said pregnant go watch that video if you haven't watched my reaction our reaction to finding out i was pregnant um <clears throat> then this one 90 po am because in the morning i took another one and it looked like this still very faint but like definitely positive you see what i mean like as soon as i saw that i was like oh my god definitely pregnant so then 10 dpo in the morning you can see how it got a little darker then 10 dpo at night it got even way darker like that's the one that i was like okay my levels are going up really fast and you know that's important because we always want to see our levels going up and i know it makes us a little nervous when you know like if we don't um i was testing twice a day in the beginning so 11 dpo in the morning then 11 dpo at night then 12 dpo in the morning you see how it gets darker and darker and then from 12 dpo i just was testing once a day so 13 14 15 it was already way dark and then from 15, you see 16, 17 DPO, 18 was already like as dark as the control line, 19 DPO. And then uh, I did 20 and I skipped the day and did 22 DPO. And so as you can tell, that's when i stopped because in this case the test line was darker than the control line and then i had a doctor's appointment at six weeks one day and i just decided to take a test just to see what the doctor was gonna see because it was my first appointment and this is definitely a dice dealer but of course i was already six weeks pregnant
but yeah i hope that was helpful if you wanted to compare tests or if you wanted to make sure your levels are going up or anything i mean it was definitely reassuring to me um here at 20 dpo i put d as like dice dealer because in my opinion that one was already darker than the control line i wrote here pd period day i was supposed to get my period on 12 dpo and i got a positive pregnancy test at 9 dpo actually at 8 dpo i already saw something but at 9 dpo i got like my big fat positive but yeah i think that was the story i wanted to share with you guys of what we did that that app was extremely helpful um it, you can also take pictures of your pregnancy test i i did that as well so i have all that information saved in the app i can always like look back i wanted to include also like all my pregnancy symptoms but i'm gonna make a separate video for that because then this video would be way too long if you're trying to conceive i send you all the baby dust in the world i know that once you make that decision it becomes like a mission um i mean at least for me it felt like that and i really hope that like these tips help um a lot of times people are not timing it right or a lot of times like your body's deficient from something a lot of times it's just things that we can't control so i i'm just sending you all the good vibes and if you enjoyed watching this video and you made it this far please click the like button and please subscribe to my channel because i'm trying to grow as much as i can here on youtube and i want to keep documenting the whole pregnancy and then the baby and all of that so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys